Hey Chris, this is Paul and, and this is Jeff. Jeff's back from uh, from uh, from the COVID, uh, um, COVID yeah, vacation. Yeah, yeah, COVID vacation, <laughs> I guess you'd call it. So uh, anyway, he has pulled out uh, three frames. This one was up near the front, and then these two were back near the. This one was up near the front too, wasn't it? It was. Yep, and then this one was uh, farther back. And so this is our plan going together. Um, and as you can see, um, we left, we made the new piece. We made it, of course we, we buy all of our white oak in eight quarter, two inch thick. So rather than resaw, going to the trouble of resawing and throwing away half the material, almost half the material, and having to do a bunch of resawing and planing, uh, we just are going ahead and making these larger. And uh, this one, of course, is going to uh, mold up to, this will go back in position, and this one's gonna bolt up to uh, bolt these guys together. This is gonna hold, this one's gonna hold part, uh, you know, the remaining portion of the rib uh, that's on the boat. And then this, of course, is gonna have a new rib that goes all the way across uh, both sides of the boat. And, uh, and we'll bolt all that together. So uh, we may run this through a sander or a planer just for a quick cleanup. But uh, uh, so we got three frames in action here, here new white oak. Um, and uh, I had a question, I'm getting ready to make my fastener count and order my fasteners. It looks like there was a combination of bronze and steel. Uh, here's some steel fasteners. Uh, there's one that was definitely steel. Uh, and that one's steel. And then it looks like this one right here where he cut the bolt off, the bolt looks like it's bronze, perhaps. So um, anyway, uh, my question for you is, is do you want us to go back with stainless or do you want me to go ahead and purchase bronze fasteners? I'm gonna recommend that we're going to all this trouble that we go ahead and put bronze fasteners in. Now this one's gonna be bolted down to the keel like these had been, but most of these boats, bolts have either failed or are very close to failure. So uh, we're planning on just putting in new, uh, new bolts uh, through the keel to fasten each one of these to the keel. Uh, so uh, if there's anything I've told you that uh, uh, you don't like the idea of, speak now or forever hold your peace. Uh, but I think this is... Uh, this is probably exactly how you'd do it if, uh, if you had the time. So uh, uh, anyhow, I just wanted to give you an update. As promised, we're back, back on your boat today. Thank you.